How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today we are going to do a what I'm liking and not so much. So if you guys are interested in seeing the products that I am liking and maybe not liking, keep on watching. So it has been a hot minute since I've actually sat down and filmed. So I'm hoping I can get back into gear with things. I actually haven't filmed a video in over a month. The last video you seen a couple weeks ago was in a, bo a box exchange with Rana Lynn from uh, Hawaii. And I actually recorded that in around probably July or something like that. So I've totally missed you guys so much. You don't even know. I mean, this is what I love to do and it makes me just happy. I just enjoy so much coming on here and sharing with you guys my experience and my journey along the, along the way uh, with skincare, hair care and makeup and everything. I do want to say there is so much going on right now, like with Texas and the hurricane there and the flooding, um, the hurricane in Florida right now, as I speak, as I'm filming this, uh, earthquake in Mexico, fires over in California. And I know there's like fires in other states over that way and stuff. Just all kinds of things have been really going on all all over the world even. I mean, just everywhere. So I just want to say to all of that, to wherever you are, you know, whatever country you're in, um, state, area, place, whatever, um, I'm just going to put out that I'm going to give thoughts and prayers to everybody because there's just so much, so much going on. It is just overwhelming. Seriously, just overwhelming. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the products because I don't want to keep you guys on here for too long. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Dove uh, Body Wash, Nourishing Body Wash. This one here is, it says limited edition and it's summer care. It smells exactly like, and they used to have it, and you guys might remember if you have used Dove for a while, they're their shower creams and stuff. There was one that was called sunshine something or something with sunshine, the word sunshine in there. And that's what this smells exactly like. And I know for a long time there, I wasn't able to find it, the sunshine, because I had that, be that citrus scent to it. I can't even explain it. I don't know. Anyway, this says it's limited edition, but yeah, exactly. That's exactly the same smell. So it's almost like they changed the name and only made it limited edition for right now for summertime. I don't know why they do that. They do that to me all the time. Another product, this is more skincare. I bought uh, Olay Regenerous Luminous Overnight Mask. It's a gel moisturizer. And you put this on at night when you're you know, getting ready to go to bed and everything. And it's a nice gel. And boy, does it soak in the skin. It feels really nice. Um, I feel like it's, you know, do the extra hydration like that you need overnight when you're sleeping. This I bought when, I think Rite Aid. I was in Rite Aid. I like to get a lot of curl creams, you know, something for my hair to keep get, get my curls going the way I want them to. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to butcher this because I've never heard of this company or anything like that. So, Tala Wada. Tala Wada? Tala Wada? <laughs> Ta-da! I'm sorry. That's what, it's, that's what I feel like. It's like, Ta-da! But yeah, like, Tala Wada. I, if anybody knows how to pronounce that. But this has a nice, fresh, like, Mmm, just smells amazing, but it's very thick. I mean, seriously thick. It's not going to pop out. So I just rub my finger in along there. You can see like just a little bit rub together with my hands and then scrunch and whatever. Very nice and s fresh smell to it. But it. This has been really good for my hair. So if you do, if you do have curly hair and you're looking for certain curl creams or anything like that, I would say give this a try especially if you have like real thick hair like mine and it's, you know, natural curly and you got your curls and you just kind of want to maintain the frizz and maybe shape. And I, that is what I used uh, the, for my hair now. 
the other day. So this product here I found in my Walmart and I know I've seen this company there before. <sighs> Another one I know I'm going to butcher. I stink at pronouncing stuff and I do apologize. So, but, uh, Sue from New York, that company right there. Can you see the word there? Sue and this is Revitalizing Rose Mist. I about freaked because I was like, oh my God, Walmart finally got something that has, you know, it's like a rose water toner spray. I love rose water. And it says capturing the potent revitalizing benefits of the providence of rose and strawberries and raspberries to replenish moisture, soothe and refresh skin. I love this. The only thing I don't like is this here the area where it sprays it's too and i'm sorry to say cheap i don't like to say that but it is kind of cheap and for this one here i'm like spritz but spraying around and have to you know spray around a couple times but it's worth it if you can find it for the price i think it was like around six something but by the way if you guys are seeing this ring i haven't worn this ring in a long time and it is of i forget is a lily i think it's a lily and if you used to watch on QVC, Nolan Miller, he sadly passed away um, from cancer. He lost the battle of cancer. But this ring here I got on QVC and I love lilies and it is a purple one. And I haven't worn it for a long time and um, I just, I love it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear it. So I figured some people are going to be seeing it and probably maybe wanting to know. And I don't think you can get it anymore. Uh, you can search for it, but it's a Nolan Miller piece, and I just love it. The company Freeman, which I do really love a lot of their facial masks, as you guys know. This one is, and I thought, this sounds interesting and different. It was a cleansing apple cider vinegar clay mask scrub. And it actually has the Allure stamp there, so it got for Allure in 2016, last year as a matter of fact. It instantly tones, purifies, mattifies for a flawless complexion. So it's like a, and it is a multitasking mask because you put it on and then after it sets for the 10 minutes or whatever it is, you get a little bit of water damp in your face and scrub. there's like a little, little scrubbies there or something to exfoliate, but it's not real hard or anything on your skin. So if you would be worried about that, it's not like that. And it felt really nice. My skin has felt soft whenever I use it and it smell you can smell the apple more than the vinegar you can tell you so this would be great for right now especially now that fall is coming and some you know just it has that nice apple scent this I wasn't like I didn't like so much and Walmart has an area now where they have uh, clay masks and the sheet mask and everything that you can try from different companies this one's from Shea Moisture and I thought I would really like it it's Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. Date Palm and Camellia Extracts. It's supposed to soften and calm the skin or something like that. So it's a clay mask. And here it is here. And when I see rose oil, I mean, like, that's what caught my whole, you know, attention there. But it, I don't know. I just didn't. There was just something about it that it didn't, I guess, impress me. Like other clay masks where my skin just felt, you know, more smooth or more soft or I don't know. There was just, I wasn't really all that impressed. Just put it that way. So while we're into face masks, like I have several here that I got to try. This one here, I got my boxy charm. You guys see me share. It is from, what company is this? Bio, Biobella. Biobella, yeah pomegranate and uh, hyaluronic acid in it. I really liked this one. And this is a sheet mask, one of them sheet masks. You know, on their site, you can buy them single or you can buy them in a bunch or something. I think something like that. I really liked this one. This is another one I got at Walmart. <laughs> I had to laugh in some ways because I seen it was like, but it's called Donkey, Donkey Milk Skin Gel Mask. This is from that Sue, that same company, that I just showed the rose water spray uh, toner. And this is another sheet mask. This was really nice too. I was impressed with this. And I know they do have some other uh, masks from this company there. Cause like I said, in my Walmart, which you might be seeing it in your Walmart in the section where they're, where they're having sheet masks. So I really liked this one. Too. This I finally went through and I'm gonna tell you guys, if you can find, this is from Maskology. 
uh, company called the Aquafol Easy and Quick Pouch Hydrating Pack. And it's a sleeping over overnight pack. It's similar to the Olay uh, gel mask that I showed you. It's similar to that. But boy, is this even more almost like you're putting water on your skin. Like it just feels like you're giving your, your skin some good nutrition for water or something. I don't know. It's just, it really soaks in really nice. And I have liked it. And I do have a couple packs here. This thing will last you a good while. It was like $2 and 50 cents in my Walmart. And uh, you only use it, you don't use it every night. It will tell you on here, I think two to three times a week. Mine lasted me probably close to a month. I would say maybe a month and a half or so because you don't need a whole lot. So if you do see these in your Walmart, I would tell you to check them out and try it. Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion uh, Refresh. And I have a sample packet and it is that one. It has that purple tone color to it. I loved it. I think I will purchase a full size when I get the chance. I really did like it a lot. It's... I don't know, it just held up my makeup really nice. It applied nice on me. Speaking of primer that I have really liked a lot. Now this I seen Emily Noel. So I say, she gets me in trouble every time, every time. And this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. I've been seeing like a lot of primer sticks, which you see milk, you know, the company milk that uh, Sephora sells and she said she liked this better than their primer stick. And, uh, you know, that caught my attention because I do like the coconut water in my Too Faced um, Hangover primer. And I haven't tried the hard candy coconut one that I purchased yet. Isn't that terrible? I buy these products and I still have some that I have to try. But I was so curious about this, you know, because she said it's so cooling and she is not kidding. I mean, here's what it looks like. And I mean, like, oh my God, like you can even put it over top of your makeup. Oh, and you can, you can just feel it just, it feels really nice. It's very cooling. And I, I used it today. My makeup's held up great. I didn't have no problems with it. It doesn't let the makeup sink into the pores. It acts just like, you know, yeah, it's a primer. Minimizes pores, soothes redness, and hydrates skin. Definitely can tell you it minimizes my pores. Um, yeah, it pretty much minimized my pores from what I can tell you. If you guys want to, I would say try it out if you're kind of curious. It has that really nice cooling effect. That it that does feel really nice. Oh my goodness. This is a not so much for sure. This is from ColourPop. And it came in my Hello Kitty set that I got, oh my goodness, a while back ago. I think even around Christmas time. And I didn't really get to use it all that much. And then a while back ago, I thought, oh, I'm gonna put it on as a topper. It was a complete epic fail for me. It is really pretty. It's a really pretty color. I mean, really, really pretty. But they do have the glitter, you know, sparks, sparks in there, the glitter and everything. But I've never really had that much of a problem with most that I've used like that. But there's, oh my gosh, now, I mean, it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. There you see. Okay. But if you're eating anything and as it slightly removes, you know, like your lipstick some, you will see them little glitter specks all over on your lips. It just made one hot mess. Just put it that way. And it feels gritty. It's a little bit gritty. It takes a good while to get it off. I can only imagine when I try to get it off again. So I, I will not get any of their toppers. Two foundations I've been using a good bit since, like I said, I haven't filmed for a good while, but two foundations that I was using is my Josie Marion Vibrancy Foundation. When I use it, it reminds me of why I really liked it so much. And it does have argan oil in it, and I love argan oil. And yeah, I, I really like this foundation. I know it was hit and miss for some people, but I really liked it. So I was going through that. And then the other one I was doing was the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 
foundation and concealer. This was really good, you know, just plop it on like you do with the Dove Foot applicator and uh, you can use it as your concealer like it says and you're just pretty much ready to go. So on days like that, that's when I was using this. This guy here I found in my Rite Aid and it's the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer. It's a face and body bronzer. Now I think the display showed limited edition, so I don't know. I mean, you can look in your Rite Aid or wherever they sell Rimmel and see if you can find. It's a really big one, real big compact. You can see my ring light there. And I got light. They had light, medium, and dark or deep or however they worded it. First of all, it has a nice scent to it. I don't know what kind of scent you'd really want to say, but it does have three layers here. And I think according to it, it was saying like, like this, you could use more of a highlighter. I didn't do that. I just mixed them all together and it is a really nice color I get with it. I really do like it, like for my skin. And this is light, like I said, I like that for my skin. It's been working out really nice. And lastly, I'm going to share with you guys some of my eyeshadow palettes that I've been working with, uh, you know, for a while now. And one of them I do have on right now. And I did do more of a smoky look and everything. So I have one of them on right now. And it is, it is the Subculture palette. Oh my goodness. The craziness of this palette was insane to me. Like right away, I knew I wanted this palette. The main reason why I wanted this palette is because I did like the colors. The colors were something that were calling my name and were pretty. I just loved the color scheme in here. You know, for me, it was like different, unique, uh, electric, you know, it's like a greenish gold and everything. And then you had like this mustard shade and this yellow, just and there's greens. There's, there's all these different shades and I really could not wait to get it. For myself, when I really, I mean, like I, I was really thinking about this. I thought normally, you know, because Lorac is one of my favorite eyeshadows and so is uh, Anastasia. She's one of my favorite uh, eyeshadows too. I mean, normally if uh, I go in a palette, I don't, you know, uh, smack right into it or anything like that real hard. I will tap into it. But if I would have seen as much fallout as like before even seeing this video, like from everybody and stuff, uh, right away, I would just know to be gentle. I haven't had a hard time with it. I've worn this a lot. I've played with it a lot and I haven't had that real hard thing that everybody was having. I don't know, just I wasn't. But I do realize we do blend differently. We do apply our eyeshadows. Everybody's different. You know, everyone is different. These colors call to your name. Yeah, you'll you'll maybe want to give it a try. If you're kind of new into makeup, no, because it might frustrate you. Um, I've been playing around with makeup for so long. I'm not no professional or anything like that, but I just played with it for so long. Uh, I'm familiar with certain ways and different kind of eyeshadows and so yeah I wouldn't you know if you're somebody like that but I really love it you know I'm really loving this eyeshadow palette the next palette uh, I have here is the pure sore sore diaries I think that's how you pronounce it and I love this palette oh my goodness this palette has been so much fun you got all these mattes on the top and then on the bottom row, they're all shimmers. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. This will work great for in the fall time coming now. So this is just a beautiful palette all over, all around. I love it. And I did dive right in and I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. I never tried a Morphe palette. Uh, I do love watching Jaclyn Hill when she's doing her makeup and stuff and how she's blending them out and the different uni unique colors that she does. The colors in this palette alone is what was calling my name. I, mean, I think the only thing, yeah, I'm like some people, like I got a little bit there, the white, it's almost like the Lorac Mega Pro 3, where the white, you know, like it gets a little frustrating because you can get it dirty easy. This is a gorgeous palette. It has all kinds of variety of colors that, you know, mm, I haven't even gotten a chance to work with these two, but I will, I will.
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, I want to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so glad you guys are here. Uh, I do appreciate it very much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, come and join me. I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, which also there is a bell. That's, and that way you'll be notified of when my videos will be uploaded and ready to watch. And also... If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember beauties, be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.